you're partnering with us to really provide a great uh, member benefit uh, to all your members in your chamber. Uh, what we want to really talk about today, as Matt had already mentioned, is to really describe and discuss best practices to ensure a successful launch. Uh, it really comes down to education with our product, really knowing how it can work and how we can provide huge savings for even those who have prescription benefits. Um, I want to go over how you should link your Rx Cut site from your Chamber site because I'm sure you get a lot of visitors there and you want to obviously maximize the, uh, the throughput and conversion with your card and your Rx Cut site and we'll show you uh, the best, to, best ways to do it and how not to. <laughs> and uh, we'll talk about distribution methods. There's several different ways to get our card out there. Of course, the old uh, laminated card is still the, the tried and trusted way to do it. Uh, but we have other ways as well. And then at the end, I'll open it up for some Q&A. You all should have received a welcome email from Mike Akins, one of my administrators, uh, shortly after contracting. Uh, it would include all your pertinent information, including your uh, provided Rx Cut a website address. We try to keep your name at the end rather than the group number to make it more specific to your chamber. Uh, you also, in that email, received login credentials to your back office or partner portal. We give our agents and partners the ability to view all their claims each morning from the prior day. So you can actually see uh, how people are benefiting from your card out there. And we also include it in that email in addition to the equalizer flyer, which I'll go over in just a little bit, which really educates the consumer, a card order link. Uh, we have uh, a tremendous contract because of our volume, and we get cards for almost free. You basically pay for the shipping, and that's it. Um, with our product, as I mentioned, it's all in the delivery. Uh, if the consumer truly understood the benefit of the card, they're going to try because they've got nothing to lose and everything to save. Uh, and even those who have prescription benefits, uh, if someone has a generic copay, $10 or higher, we're going to beat the insurance copay seven out of 10 times, and that is the game changer because our card, unlike others, works for everyone, not just the uninsured. Uh, there's no downside to our card as well. The members always guarantee the lowest price, whether it's their insurance copay, the cash price at the pharmacy are our significantly discounted price. Um, they're always going to pay less. So if our price is $7 and your client goes or your member goes to Walmart and it's a $4 generic, they pay $4. Now, we don't get any revenue and you make no commissions on that, but that's okay because the member always wins. Um, you really want to encourage all your members to use your pricing tool on your Rx Cut site because that is really where, where we drive lowest price. Uh, there's a huge variance in discounts from one pharmacy to the next, and using that pricing tool will ensure that they know exactly what pharmacy to go to that day to get the best price for their medication. And the Equalizer Flyer really drives that message, and each one of you should have received a custom flyer with your logo on it that really explains uh, to those who even have insurance that if they have a generic copay that's $10 or higher, they check our price because odds are we're going to be lower than their insurance copay. Obviously, for those with high deductibles and no insurance, we're going to win the majority of the time unless it's a $4 generic. And it actually gives examples uh, with these medications. Not only did we crush the retail price, but we also came in under a $10 copay. And incidentally, the average copay is much higher today than $10 because of health care reform and rising health care costs, and there seems to be no ceiling for it. Uh, it also has a copy of your card. They could actually cut it out uh, if they don't have the hard uh, laminated card, and um, they can take that right to the pharmacy. So initial distribution, uh, we're going to provide you shortly uh, after our call today an email that's going to have several attachments, and one will be uh, um, this uh, press release. Now, this is what actually Saka had, had given out to all you guys and probably gained some interest in our program, uh, but it really explains the benefit of our card, how it can really help people save money, how uh, average copays have increased 34% in just the last year, and then it's got um, information about this happens to be the Southern Ohio Chamber Alliance, but you can use this template and put some verbiage in here about your chamber, and it has some, uh, some information about us as well. And down the bottom, you can actually put your Rx Cut website address. You just finished with the page extension. So we'll include that in that email that you'll get just a little bit later on today. Uh, physical distribution is still the best way, actually handing a physical card to someone. Uh, our cards are very high quality. They're laminated, uh, four color, two sided with your logo on it, of course, and it should, if you do any kind of snail mail to your members, uh, it should be included there, and several cards should go depending on the size of the company, and obviously, chambers have several events, so you should have the cards present along with the flyer at all your events, whether it be luncheons, 
or award ceremonies or whatever you're getting together for with your members, uh, you should have those cards at every meeting. Uh, electronic distribution uh, works as well. I'm sure you send out monthly newsletters and announcements and invitations, uh, putting a header in there. Uh, oh, I just lost it. Where'd that go? Uh, banner. Uh, we're going to include a banner in that email, an attachment, and you can um, embed your RX Cut website behind this. This can go in any of your electronic communication. Also, you want to let your members know they can actually download the card right to their phone from your print card page. And new member packets. I'm not sure if you have ambassadors or not, but most of our local cham chambers, the ambassadors actually go out and provide the new member packet to, to uh, new companies coming into your chamber. And in addition to the directory, um, they can include the flyer and, of course, several of our cards, depending on the size of the company. Uh, chambers should link their RX cut site from their chamber site. Um, and people will obviously want to use the print card page, the pharmacy tr uh, pricing tool page. And I'll show you some examples of, of, of how not to and how to. Um, we have one chamber that promises they're going to change it. They haven't yet. Uh, but this is the Burlington County, a local chamber here, Burlington County Chamber of Commerce. They've been a partner of, of ours for some time now. And uh, uh, Christy keeps telling me she's going to move this. Because right now, when you go to the front page, there's no visibility uh, about the card. You actually have to drill down into member services and then affinity programs. And then when you scroll down on this page, you eventually get to the link for our card or our site or uh, frequently asked questions and a flyer in the card. Now, they're wondering why they don't have a lot of transactions. They don't bring their cards to events. Uh, they rarely mention it in their newsletters, and it's buried in their website. The correct way to do it would be more in the lines of this. Now, this is not a chamber, but it's a marketing partner. Uh, this is Perk Plans, a uh, community benefits uh, company that has several benefits. They have us right at the top of their page save up to 87% on your prescriptions, and when you click that, there's an embedded link that takes them right to their RX Cut provided site. Now, this partner has several thousand transactions a month. He's been with us for some time, and this is not a get-rich-quick business. Uh, it's, it's a slow grow, but over time, it can really come out to be something substantial, and the best part about it is residual income. When a uh, new member uses our card and has a positive experience, uh, our, our tracking shows they continue to do so an average of one and a half times a month or 18 times a year. So it's constant. And uh, if we were to sell our business today, uh, the valuation would be all of our claims by our commission rate multiplied by 36 months. So the typical user of our card uses it for about three years, and they use it one and a half times a month. So it does actually build into something, but it's a, it's a volume play business. Um, MSNBC called us America's Get Rich Slow Business Opportunity. It does take time to build. Uh, all member companies should have enough cards for all employees and possibly clients and prospects too. Listen, you guys are in the business to know businesses. And you know the biggest complaint out there today is the ever-rising cost of health care and what happens and how employers, the only way they can keep um, their premiums in line is to constantly increase co-pays and deductibles. So in the last year, as I mentioned, the average copay has gone up 34%. So if your members give cards out to all their employees, who now maybe have a $20 copay instead of 10, and the employee uses it at the pharmacy and saves money, well, it also benefits the employer because it reduces their claims experience, and it can make their renewals easier for the following year because claims experience is what drives premiums. Um, certain industries that may be part of your chamber will have higher conversion rates. We have lots of synergies in healthcare, insurance, nonprofit organizations who are always looking for a form of community outreach, and any pet-related businesses, because our card works on pet meds as well. Not that other businesses uh, couldn't benefit from the card or couldn't get cards out for you, uh, but I would also let them know that every time someone saves money, it actually benefits the chamber because they get a donation. You don't want to limit your distribution to chamber members only. Um, remember, our card can work for everyone, so I want you to treat this program like you would the American Express card. Never leave home without it, without several of your RX Cut cards. Uh, card orders, uh, in your email, you had a card order link, and it's easy to order cards. Uh, when you click that link, it'll take you to this page. You can order 1,000 cards for $20, 2,500 cards for 30 I would advise 5,000 cards because over time you could probably uh, surpass that type of distribution. You can even do an English-Spanish split. 
and uh, you can have an order of 10,000 cards as well. Now, 5,000 cards come in a 17-pound box delivered to UPS, and it's $50. So as I mentioned, the cards are almost free. You're basically paying for the delivery. Uh, you would type in your RX group number, um, which is an, uh, a UR, URX number, which is on your website, on your card. Type that in. If there's any special instructions, uh, you would do that. And I'll just do uh, a number here to show you how this uh, goes to the next page. I click Submit. And then it goes to the credit card information. If the billing and shipping address is the same, uh, no need to change it. If the shipping address is different, you can uncheck it there and fill that in. Submit payment, and we get that order immediately. It gets placed that day. Cards typically take seven to 10 business days to be delivered UPS, and we'll send you a tracking ID once they ship. Um, how to view claims reports, there's two ways. We sent you the link and the welcome email to get to your portal, but if you just go to your RxCut site, you can get to it from there as well. Uh, all the way down the bottom of the page, there's a link right here that says Partner Portal. So you can just log in from here. And your group number will appear. You just select that. And you can pull a date range and look at all the details. So I'll just look at month to date. Uh, so 9-1 through 9-23, which was yesterday. I want to look at all the detail. I'll just click that. And it'll give me all the transactions. It'll have your group number, your group name, the date it was filled, paid or reverse. Now, if it's paid with a no at the UNC, that's a commissionable claim. You just made $2. If it's yes, that means the cash price was lower. So for instance, here's a $4 generic at Walmart. Our cost may have been 6 or $7 for fluconazole, but the cash price was better, so that's what the member paid. We'll still adjudicate the claim, but if it's yes, it's not a commissionable item. And there are also reverse items. Not many. We have very few reverses. And what reverse means is that the claim was adjudicated at some point, but now it's being backed out of the pharmacy system because maybe the client never showed up, so they re-inventoried it, or they couldn't afford it or just didn't purchase it, or they could have used another form of payment. All commissionable items will say paid and no for usual and customary, which means the cash price. Uh, if that no means the cash price wasn't as good as ours. It will give you the drug name, whether it's brand or generic, quantity, day supply, uh, UNC, yes or no retail cost, what the member paid, and what they saved in dollars and percentage, and all the pharmacy information. Now that is the detail. If you just want to look at raw numbers, you can hit claim summary, and basically it will show you total transactions, how much money people saved on those transactions, the average savings per script, which was over $60 in savings per script, the average savings in percentage compared to retail, 51.53% off retail brand transactions and percentage as opposed to generic and usual and customer. And in this case, we only lost on 38 out of 400 transactions to the cash price, which is under 10%, which is an all-time industry low. Most other cards perform at about um, 30 to 40%, meaning they lose to the cash price three or four out of 10 times. I really wanted to show you this pricing tool. Let me see if I still have it up here. Yeah, just type this back in. Um, how it's important that your members actually use this uh, pricing tool rather than blindly walking into any pharmacy because, as I mentioned, pricing can vary greatly from one pharmacy to the next. So the member would just type in a few letters of their medication, and once they find it, they would select the right milligram, and it would be the brand equivalent. If they take one a day for 30 days, they just save that to the list and then simply type in their zip code. And you'll see that the, uh, the low cost is 838. And CVS is selling the same drug for $20.15. So if I had a $15 copay and I went to CVS, well, guess what? You just lost $2 and the client paid your $15 copay. If they go to ShopRite, they're going to save almost half of their copay and your chamber is going to make $2. So that really helps our conversion rate. It's important that members actually use that tool. The other reason that people would come to your site, they can print unlimited cards with your unique group number on it. It prints three at a time to a sheet. Or with the new technology, they can just type in their mobile number, click text card, and will actually download a high-resolution image of this card right to their smartphone. So there's no need for actually a physical card if they do it that way. Our commissions are paid 
60 days net. For instance, we're cutting checks and sending out electronic payments next week for all claims that happened in July. So most providers in our space don't pay their agents and partners until they get paid. And it can take up to 120 days uh, to collect from the pharmacies because we don't invoice them the months over. Uh, however, we pay 60 days net on all claims. So if you had 1,000 transactions in July, then you can be paid 1,000 for 1,000 transactions in about a week from now. So it's about 60 days net after the month ends that we pay. We also do electronic um, deposit or, or ACH. And in the email you'll receive today, you'll also have a direct deposit form if you uh, so choose to get paid that way and not by check. Actually, you'll get paid about five to seven days earlier as well. Um, remember, it takes time to build volume. If you hand 20 cards out today, don't look for 20 transactions tomorrow. First of all, someone needs a prescription to fill. And if someone doesn't take monthly maintenance med, it could be months or weeks before you actually see any of that volume. And not everyone you give the card to is going to use it, even if they understand the benefits. Um, you want to look at that launch email today, and that launch email will include um, your contact info. Uh, Mike Akins will be your point of contact here for questions, any kind of issues. It'll have a direct deposit form, as well as that press release that I went over that you can customize and put your logo and your information in there, and also the banner you can use to link your RX Cut site from your site. Now, at this point, I want to open it up for Q&A, so let me get back to all the attendees and try to unmute everybody. So folks, uh, any questions? Wow, I did that great a job. No questions? Um, let me see. I think everybody's unmuted. Oh, hello. This is Paul in Fairborn. Hey, Paul. How are you, buddy? Good. How are you? I'm sorry. I didn't know I was unmuted. I raised my hand. I guess I'll take it down. Now, <laughs> <laughs> uh, there, there's been on our side, just in these early stages, just a, a little initial confusion on the website itself that we're linking to. And on, on the RxCut website, though it's branded Fairborn, um, there's tabs on here about uh, become a sponsor, link to the site from yours, um, and things like that. Uh, so I, I was just wondering how that kind of fit into, you know, our branded sites or, or let's say the Fairborn Area Chamber of Commerce. Could you just spend a little time explaining that? I'm, I'm just a little curious about the other tabs. It was causing a little bit of confusion over here. Oh uh, yeah, you know what? That should not be on your site. We'll have that taken off today about becoming an agent. Uh, but oh, what was that, the other question? Oh, I'm sorry. I think I think that was basically it. I was just curious okay. about the other the yeah, other apps most, on, yeah, on most, our most of our site. yeah most of our partner sites have the ability to build a network under them. Uh, most of the chambers don't. Uh, okay. So we'll have that tab taken off today. Oh, that'd be great. Thank you very much. You got it, buddy. Mm -hmm. I think someone else had their hand raised. Uh, Rich Arnold, you should be unmuted, Rich. Rich, can you hear me? Okay, well, if, if that'll do it for questions, uh, listen, I appreciate your time this morning. Uh, once again, look for that email. That'll come your way a little bit later today. It will have uh, all the credentials I, I mentioned, including your contact info here, which is Mike Aikens, a direct deposit form, um, a copy of that press release, which you can customize and get out to all your chamber members, and the banner so you can link your website. And uh, that uh, become a member or become a, an agent or a partner will be taken off all of your sites today. Appreciate your time. Looking forward to working with you guys and, and helping to build this into something substantial for you and your chamber and a great benefit for your members. Have a good one, everybody, and take care. Thank you.